The Click Management Console, or QMC, is used for all types of administration. The QMC is a web page found at https computer name slash QMC. Starting from the Manage Content section in the QMC, you can manage all of the ClickSense entities. A ClickSense app is a task-specific, purpose-built application. The user who creates an app is automatically designated as the owner of the app. An app can be reused, modified, and shared with others. A content library is a place to keep shared content that enables the ClickSense user to add to their apps. The library and the library objects can be shared with others through security rules defined in the QMC. The user who creates the content library automatically becomes the owner of that library. Data connections are created in the ClickSense Data Load Editor or when you use the Add Data option. Data connections enable you to select and load data from a source. The user who creates a data connection automatically becomes the owner of that connection and is by default the only user who can access the connection. However, all data connections can be managed centrally from the QMC. A data connection can be shared with others through security rules defined in the QMC. The App Objects Overview lists app objects in the ClickSense site. In the App Objects page, you can manage sheets and stories. App objects are published when the app that they belong to is published. Streams enable users to read and or publish apps, sheets, and stories. By default, ClickSense includes two streams, Everyone and Monitoring Apps. Users who have access to a stream can create content for that stream. The stream access pattern in a ClickSense site is determined by the security rules for each stream. Tasks are used to perform a wide variety of operations and can be chained together in any pattern. There are two types of tasks, reload tasks and user synchronization tasks. Users are imported from user directories. Once users are imported, you can manage user access. Use the security rules editor to create rules based on user IDs and names to provide access to ClickSense. Assign QMC administrative roles. The roles need to be defined in the security rules page. As you can see, the tab name shows the kind of role assigned to a user and whether the user is inactive or active, blocked, or has been removed externally. In this section, you can manage and handle ClickSense resources. On the QMC audit page, you can query resources and users and audit the security rules or sync rules that have been defined in the ClickSense system. Here you can choose to sync a rules audit, clear filters, and select the privileges to audit. The following list presents all of the privileges that are defined. Which privileges are available for a particular audit depends on the selected resource. The ClickSense system includes an attribute-based security rules engine that uses rules as expressions to evaluate what type of access a user or users should be granted for a resource. 
you can create a custom property to use your own values in the security rules. You define one or more values for the custom property, and these values can be used in the security rule for a resource. The license enabling file determines the number of tokens that you can allocate to different access types. The number of tokens for the ClickSense site can be increased or decreased by activating a new license. On the License Usage Summary page, you can see the token availability and how the tokens are distributed among the different access types. The User Access Allocations page displays an overview. You can allocate, deallocate, or reinstate access for users. The User Access Rules page displays an overview. You can edit, delete, or create new user access rules. The Login Access Rules page displays an overview. You can edit, delete, or create new login access rules. The Site License page is where you activate or apply changes to the license enabling file. The Click Data Market page is where you activate or apply changes to the Click Data Market subscription. Extensions can be used to visualize data. By default, only the root admin user has the access rights to import extensions. You need to define the security rules to enable others to import extensions. You create QMC tags and apply them to resources to be able to search and manage the environment efficiently from the resource overview pages in the QMC. The User Directory Connector, UDC, connects to a configured directory service to retrieve users. The UDCs supplied with the ClickSense installation are Generic LDAP, Microsoft Active Directory, Local Users, and ODBC. The Governance apps present data from the ClickSense log files. When you select Monitoring Apps, the hub for the stream monitoring apps will open and you will be able to see the app's license monitor and operations monitor. A ClickSense site is a collection of one or more server machines, that is, nodes, connected to a common logical repository or central node. A node is a server that uses configured ClickSense services. There is always a central node in a deployment, and nodes can be added for different service configurations. You can have several computers, each with a ClickSense installation, that work together and are managed as one server. The ClickSense Engine Service, QES, is the application service that handles all application calculations and logic. The ClickSense Printing Service, QPR, manages exports from ClickSense. The ClickSense Proxy Service, QPS, manages ClickSense authentication, session handling, and load balancing. One or more virtual proxies run on each QPS, making it possible to support several sets of site authentication, session handling, and load balancing strategies on a single proxy node. The ClickSense Scheduler Service, QSS, manages scheduled tasks such as reload of ClickSense apps or user synchronization and task chaining. The ClickSense Repository Service, QRS, manages persistence and synchronization of ClickSense apps, licensing, security, and service configuration data. The QRS attaches to a ClickSense Repository database and is needed by all other ClickSense services to run and to serve ClickSense apps. The repository also manages synchronization of multi-node ClickSense sites. The Sync Rules Overview lists all the available sync rules. ClickSense uses certificates for trusted authentication. The certificates are used within a ClickSense site to authenticate communication between services that reside on multiple nodes. 
And that concludes our video. Thanks for watching.